Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beaded tresses earrings in Spanish style. I'm using brick stitch and twisted fringes but even if you are a beginner I think you will be able to make them because I'm showing everything in easy steps. Consider subscribing with the bell, also liking, sharing and commenting in this way you help me so much. Share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page, I will be happy to see them and a lot of work goes in this video so my, you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads. They are black, yellow and red. Here I'm also using earring findings, liver bags, you could use others of your choice. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. It's a good idea to use nylon thread for this project so your twisted fringes uh, would look good. Uh, this is size 11 beading needle. I guess you could do it this, with size 12 as well. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay my friends and I'm starting my work by picking up four of those beautiful yellow beads and I'm going to slide those down. Well, let's say I will leave two-thirds of the thread hanging down there and one-third uh, will be here at the top part of my work, top of the dress. Okay, so I will go through these two yellow beads backwards in circle. Okay. Now what I need to take are two more black beads and I'm going back in circle through these two yellows and then backwards through the black ones. Two yellows again. backwards through these two and two yellows and go like this. Now guys I'm taking two red beads and as I'm exiting from this yellow I'm going here under the first thread bridge. You see these thread bridges that I have between my beads. I'm going under the first one here because I will be increasing in the next row I will have more beads than in the previous one. That's why I go through the first thread bridge but if you're not familiar with this stitch don't worry and just follow the steps everything will be okay. Now I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work and I pull and I have this. Another red one and one by one guys I'm adding red beads until the end. Only the first step is with two red beads, then I'm adding them one by one. And pay attention here at the last step I'm adding two beads at one and the same thread bridge. If you notice I added this one to this thread bridge between these two yellows and this one at the same thread bridge and again I'm going through it and now I have one row which is longer than the previous. Now guys I'm going to repeat a similar thing. I take two red beads 
and I go here under the next thread bridge because as you may see I'm expanding my work I'm adding more beads in each next row so again I went through the first thread bridge and to the bead that is closer to the center of my work then another one and the next thread bridge as you may see now one by one at single beads until the end okay now I'm out of thread bridges here guys but what I want to do is to add one bead at the same thread bridge that I've been through with the previous bead okay I'm going under the, this same thread bridge between the last two red beads of the previous row and then I go through it okay like this okay guys and I created increasing brick stitch rows with six and seven red beads and now I will make one with eight and how I do this I go here under the first thread bridge that I have then I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work and when I pull I have this and now I will continue the same thing one by one showing you faster Again, I'm out of thread bridges, but this won't stop me to add another bead here at the same thread bridge. So I have my eight beads that I plant. Okay, for my next row, which will be the largest one, I take a yellow and a red and I go here under the first thread bridge because again, I'm increasing then I go through this red one now add two more reds in a row one two a yellow one And I will repeat what I have here, three reds and a yellow. And the last yellow, as you may see, is at the last thread bridge that I have here. Now guys, I'm going to continue with decreasing brick stitch. Up until now I was going under the first thread bridge. Now because I decrease, I will have less beads in my next row. I'm going under the second thread bridge. Okay, like that. And then again through the bead which is closer to the center. Another red one okay this is the first this is the second so with this i go through the third thread bridge and i forget to tell you guys that it is a good idea to reinforce these beads uh, because they are stretching as they go through the second thread bridge so i'm going back to reinforce them like this then here I need two yellow beads one after the other
and here my friends at the last thread bridge this time I add only one bead because I'm decreasing as you know this is decreasing brick stitch then again I'm decreasing a yellow and a red I go under the second thread bridge then I go through the one which is closer to the center and I reinforce because I want my beads to stay nice and flat next to each other that's why I reinforce at this step then I take a yellow a red one a yellow then a red and a yellow then I take a yellow and a red and I go under this first thread bridge a yellow one then I take a yellow and a red and I go under the second thread bridge here and since I go there are only two but still I go through the second one and here as you may see when I go through the second I always reinforce and here at the same second thread bridge which is the last one I add one more yellow okay now I want to reposition my thread guys I want to reach here to all of those beads okay and I'm repositioning now I will repeat this part here I take a yellow and a red and you see here I have two thread bridges until the end of this row and I will go through the second one and what we do when we go through the second one we reinforce then I take just one yellow and go under the same thread bridge that I have here and go like this okay then I take a yellow and a red and I go under the first thread bridge and through the one that is closer to the center and I just want to take one yellow and go like this okay now the top part of my dress is almost ready guys what I need to take are three yellows an earring finding and three yellows and I'm going backwards like this okay I 
I'm going backwards and I'm reinforcing. Well, I guess I left too much thread here. But anyways, it's enough, so everything is okay. And for the other part, if I don't have enough thread, I will just show you how I'm adding a new thread to my work, okay? So now I'm here. I make a loop. I go twice through the loop I've made. I pull, I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread. Okay, now I will move my needle here on this thread and I'll be back. Now, my friends, I will make two rows of red beads. One will be with six and one will be with seven red beads. Okay, I'm starting the first one. It is increasing. This is the same what I did here, six, seven, but I will stop to the, to the row with seven beads. Okay, I'm going through the the one which is closer to the center and I went through the first thread bridge because I'm increasing then I continue one by one adding two beads at the last thread bridge <laughs> Okay, take two, first thread bridge, and continue. Okay, my friends, and I have now my row where I'm going to start my twisted fringe part. Okay, I will pick up a long sequence for the first fringe and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and what I have here on my thread are three red, yellow red, yellow red, yellow red, five yellow, black yellow, black yellow, five black, six red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, five yellow, six black and three red. And I will be picking up the same sequence, only the first reds here and the last reds here uh, will change. So in the next sequence it will be the same thing in the middle, but five red here and five red here. Then it will be seven right here and seven right here and nine right here and nine right here. Okay. But you will have everything written and shown and you will be able to pause and pick them up. So this is no problem. Okay. Now, in order to make a twisted fringe, not a regular one, I will need to twist my thread. Okay. I will start twisting. Okay. Like this. It's two, three, four. And by the way, here your thread will twist, you see, like this. And you want to untwist it. So this part should be untwisted. 
this part and this part here should be twisted so when you continue twisting and twisting and twisting let's say do 20 twists like this or 25 okay then uh, then don't let your thread go I mean hold it like this don't let it go because it will uh, untwist really fast hold it here and untwist this other part like this like pulling gently untwist it then you see how it starts bending don't don't let go here don't let go just go through this red one backwards in circle or you could go through two reds even in this direction like this you see pull still don't let go and now it's the time to let go and when you let go you see it will bend and twist you could help it a little bit and that's it that is the twisting now you want to exit out of the next red one okay i will take a similar sequence but with five red at the beginning and five red at the end and i'll be back okay my friends and this is what i have now five red yellow red yellow red yellow red five yellow black yellow black yellow five black six red yellow red yellow red yellow red five yellow six black and five red beads okay pick this up and okay pause this video pick those up and we'll continue okay so now i'm doing the same thing but because it's a long procedure i won't show you the whole thing but i will come back for the next fringe okay guys and after i did this fringe i added the beads for the next one and they are absolutely the same like the previous one just start with seven red and finish with seven red and you will see the sequence written on your screens so you could pause this video and pick them up then i will twist i will go back here and i will come back in a position for the next fringe and i will pick up the beads okay guys and this is the longest the middle fringe and uh, it is the same in the middle only it starts with nine red and finish with nine red you could see the sequence here pause this and pick them up then i will twist this i will go back and here when i go back i will come to show you how to cut this thread and add a new one okay my friends and i just created this twist fringe the middle one and i went back through this bead here but now my thread is not enough to continue and make more fringes that is why i'm going to cut it and add a new one and i will make here a loop i will go twice through the loop i've made i will pull then i will go through the next few beads and i'm cutting this short thread now i will take a longer thread let's say one third of an arm span will be enough and i will come back to show you how i'm attaching it here okay my friends and now i have a new longer thread on my needle and what i'm going to do is attach it here and continue with the next three fringes okay how i do this i go here through one of the beads pull pull hold the tail thread with the thumb go like this make a loop again go twice through the loop pull tight and then go here where you, you are in a position to start the next fringe and 
I will cut here this tail thread. Okay, now guys, I'm not showing you the next three fringes because they are absolutely the same like these ones here, the first ones that I showed you. So you could just rewind the video and watch from here and add a fringe starting and finishing with seven red beads, five red beads and three red beads but you could see it from the previous steps that I showed already in the video. So just rewind and make this the other way around, starting from the longest to the shortest. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and I just added the last fringe here. And what I need to do is just to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, I'm here making a loop going twice through the loop I've made, pulling, going through some beads in this direction and I'm cutting this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my twisted fringe Spanish style beaded dresses are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials and you will be inspired often. Also, you could post on my Facebook page your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them and share them. And a lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.